Good Wednesday morning. Welcome to the Beamish Blogcast, July 29th, 2015. A saguaro soaker on Tucson Southside yesterday. Almost an inch and a half of rain at Tucson International Airport, making for the wettest day we've seen since September 8th of last year. That's when we had remnant moisture from Norbert move across the state. Round two later this afternoon, we'll see. Plenty of cloud cover across the southern half of the state and still a few showers and storms rumbling west of Tucson and moving away from the metro at the top of the 9 o'clock hour. That cloud cover is going to make for a difficult forecast call today because the longer those clouds hang out, the more stable the atmosphere will be, thus not a lot of energy for storms to work off of. We certainly have the moisture. We do have a mid-level disturbance south of the border, but also today the searing winds aloft are pretty pretty weak, so any storm that does pop up may produce some locally heavy rainfall. Overall, I don't think we'll be as active today as what we saw yesterday. Her model showing as much around 2 o'clock this afternoon with just a few showers and storms around Metro Tucson in southern Arizona. Maybe a better chance of storms east of Tucson. A low confidence call on that heading into the evening hours. As it stands right now, we'll keep our rain chances at 30% with daytime highs in the low 90s and maybe a stray thunderstorm possible during the overnight hours. Scattered storms still in the forecast through the first half of the weekend. And then high pressure moves over the state early next week drying us out just a bit, heating us up as well. Daytime highs Sunday through Tuesday in that 102 to 104 range. Thanks for logging on. See you on the TV side today for News 4 Tucson at noon.